What is happening everybody? My name is Paul aka Noob Get Good and welcome to my first ever channel update. So I fancied doing a channel update just because uh, you know I've got some few new subscribers recently and uh, got some sort of playlists going at the moment and I thought I'd just give you an update of what my plans are for probably the next you know two or three months just so you know what to expect for the channel going forward. Um, if you're not aware, I record my videos on a weekend, normally on a Saturday, uh, and then bulk them up and upload them and then release them. And at the moment, I tend to release a new series, you know, new video every other day. But the plan is to try and get to one every single day, um, probably over two, two or three games over that period. So yeah, just uh, let you know how you do that. So um, what's this channel update about? Uh, in the background, there'll be some video of Outriders going. There's a demo got released recently, which I've been playing through. Uh, so that'll be the background footage and we'll come on to Outriders shortly. Um, so today, uh, the Final Fantasy VII recording session will finish. That's the first playthrough on uh, sort of the normal difficulty. Um, and there's sort of videos scheduled every other day for that up to June. Um, so yeah, June, what happens in June? Oh yes, the final, <laughs> The uh, PlayStation 5 version of Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out, as well as the Integrate uh, DLC, which is the Yuffie uh, expansion. So expect that to be covered as soon as that releases. Um, I'll probably tack that onto the end of the release of the normal one, and then we'll go into the hard mode um, playthrough uh, on that. So yeah, that's Final Fantasy VII. I say you've got every other day of that for the next two or three months. So that is good. Um, so obviously... That is how I'm going to be recording the last sort of two or three videos of that uh, today. That leaves a little bit of a hole, and I want to talk about briefly what game I will be going next. Um, so I'm unsure, really. I'm sat here, you know, I've, once the Final Fantasy VII remake videos are finished, I need to pick up another game. And I've got two in mind, uh, given what's coming uh, in the releases later on this year. And that is either Fallout 4 or Control. Um, so I bought Fallout 4 on release, uh, never got too far, um, I don't know why, uh, but I've recently, uh, just seen a few videos about it, there's, uh, someone doing, uh, You Only Live Once, uh, playthrough of it, really, really good, uh, and it just got me piqued to my interest in Fallout 4, um, but the other one is Control, which I've heard really, really good things about, don't know anything really too much about it, never watched a playthrough, done nothing for it, uh, so that'll be a completely blind playthrough. Um, I'm leaning towards control, but you never know, you could get some Fallout 4 in the future. Um, so that's sort of that session, uh, sort of sessions of games. And then we've got the upcoming releases. So what games, new games, are on my radar going forwards? Um, so first off, it's not really a new game, but um, the Hawkeye expansion for Marvel Avengers drops uh, on the 18th of March. Um, for all its hate that Marvel Avengers has got. I really enjoyed the, just the, the the gameplay of it. It's not a game that I could pick up every single day and play for two, three hours at a time. You know, it's one where I pick it up one or once or twice a week. Oh, it's twice every uh, fortnight, sorry, uh, and then play it for about an hour or so. And, you know, it's just the end-to-end -end combat is, is really, really good. Um, but if you try to grind it out, you'd get bored particularly quickly. Um, but yeah, still enjoy that. Um, and say Hawkeye drops. I played um, Kate Bishop version uh didn't record that at the time but yeah so we've got that coming uh that'll be up on the channel uh, i'll give my thoughts on hawkeye uh, as and when i can and then obviously the new releases and we've already spoken about outriders which again is playing in the background of this um it wasn't one that was on my radar until i played the demo and i've really enjoyed the demo so far i do have my concerns about it um there's a lot of audio desync uh, that I'm experiencing on the PlayStation version. Uh, like the subtitles come up and they're not synced with the voice. The mouth movements aren't uh, in sync with the voice. So that's a bit iffy. Um, there was a lot of server issues when the uh, demo first released. So that makes me feel, are we going to get some server issues? And I just hark back to Anthem and how poor that is. And, as I record this, um, the only the other day that they've announced that and all um, updates and Anthem will be stopped. Yeah, so I have my concerns about that. Um, and graphically, it doesn't look as polished for a game that's due out in a little over a month. 
So yeah, a few concerns is probably uh, I'll keep uh, watch on that. But I look at you know the games that I'm personally interested in that are coming. I've got Outriders for the beginning of April, uh, and up to that point, um, there's nothing really that I can see at the moment and what I've been looking at that you know, piques my interest. So chances are I'll probably pick it up. Um, we've then got uh, Returnal uh, at the end of April. Uh, again, these are currently stated um, slated times for the release. Uh, yeah, Returnal. Um, looked at some of the gameplay uh, showcases and it looked really on point. Uh, looked really phonetic, fast-paced. Interested to see as you die, the enemies change locations uh, and all of that good stuff. So it's uh, definitely one, uh, definitely one for me to keep an eye out for. Um, again, I'm trying to keep quite dark about it because from when it was first, you know, the announcement came with the PlayStation 5, um, it was one like, yep, this looks really good. Going to try and keep a, a media silence on that, you know, try and spoil it free, you know, stay away from spoilers. Like I just watched um, with no sound on, for instance, the uh, gameplay reveal because I just wanted to see what the point-to-point -point gameplay looked like. So yeah, they're the two for April, Outriders and Returnal. Um, expect them up on the channel um, as and when I can. Uh, next on the list for me is uh, in a game that releases in May, and that is the Mass Effect Trilogy. So I have a lot of good experiences with the Mass Effect Trilogy. Um, well, two thirds of it. So my first ever Mass Effect was Mass Effect 2. Um, play through that, play through all the DLC. And then I picked up Mass Effect 3 when that came out. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed that, enjoyed the multiplayer aspect of it. I uh, thought that was really well done. For you know, the point-to-point -point gameplay, and that was really good. Um, I didn't really have an opinion on the ending because, um, yeah, it's it was an ending of a game. Um, but I never really played Mass Effect 1. Um, I think I picked it up and literally did the shortest playthrough of it. I can't remember too much of it. I know um, there's one hard choice that you have to make between two characters um obviously play through that um but yeah i didn't get invested in that one as much as two and three so i'll be interested to see what they do um and again it's one that i will probably pick up uh whether i pick it up on release that's another question because i've got out you know potentially outriders returnal um being played through depending on how control goes i could have control going um or fallout 4 depending on which other one plays on that and then we lead into the other game that releases um, in May. And this one, if you have asked me to record this two weeks ago, this would never have been anywhere on, on a list of me to play. But that is Biomutant. Um, just, I was looking through my Facebook feed and just, you know, this popped up to say that it was um, coming. Uh, I think it's May the 21st. Or t yeah, which is a Friday because uh, it's around my birthday. And, um, yeah, I was like, I've never heard of this. What is it? Clicked on it, looked at some, you know, some info on the game, and it's uh, like an action-y, survival -y game where you can pick up parts for, and craft unique weapons. It seems really interesting to me. Um, so, again, one I'm going to keep an eye on. Uh, if it's one that I'm definitely going to pick up, I'll sort of go on almost media blackout and not invest too much on it i just want to you know i haven't seen too much of the actual gameplay itself just want to keep an eye on but if uh you know if that looks like it's a good one i'll probably play that over the mass effect trilogy first uh because mass effect obviously an older game um it's people know what it is they're just there looking for the um the remastered qualities whereas by muted brands make the new game uh so yeah there's that one um and then we're going to move on to the final game that i want to talk about um and this is the game that when the PlayStation State of Play came through the other day, people were potentially earmarking this as a March PlayStation release. And I was like, okay, that's good. Really, you know, that's really, really good. Um, and, it, and it didn't, you know, it didn't get that release. But this is a game that I have... When they did, you know, the first gameplay reveals at the PlayStation 5 event, um, this one piqued my interest because it looks absolutely amazing. Um, 
and that is Kena Bridge of Spirits, which got announced that it's going to release in uh, the end of August. Um, so obviously there's a big gap between May and August, I know, but um, it was one that was on my list as, as a note, and then I've had to tweak these notes since the State of Play updates. Um, yeah, this one, out of all of the games that is on there, um, now, oh, now the Integrate Final Fantasy VII Remake is on there. That's probably my my peak. That's June, so that's obviously a June game. I've probably got uh, that uh, Integrate is probably what I'm most looking forward to. Then probably Returnal, and then Kena Bridge of Spirits. It's it's up there, one of my most anticipated games this year. I'm really interested to see what they do with this. Um, I said it's a story driven, um, so I'm not sure how that will you know, go about the length of it, um, how challenging it will be. But some of the boss battles, you know, the dodging and stuff, it seems, you know, pretty intricate of, of what you need to do. So, yeah, definitely going to keep an eye on that. So that's Kena Bridge of uh, Spirit. And that's sort of the the few games that I'm I'm looking forward to up to the end of August as and when um, trailers drop and other things uh, come out for the, especially the June-July um, period. I can probably get through, you know, just recording on a, a Saturday. and uh, I can probably get through a game every month and a bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, oh, with that as well. Um, at some point in March, April time, I'm expecting to move house, uh, which means I don't have to sit in the front room and record, which means I potentially could uh, dedicate another evening uh, a week to recording some videos and just churn out some more. But, yeah, I've got... Yeah, quite a lot in the pipeline to showcase for you guys. You know, I'm not going to be pumping out every single new game, and I just wanted to give you an idea of the types of game that I'm interested in, types of games that will be appearing on the channel. Um, yeah, and obviously, you know, something like uh, if, if I do go down the control route uh, as the next game, uh, seeing what games are on the PlayStation uh, Plus um sort of monthly games and if there's any on there that i really like or are interested in i might add them into the list so we've had um obviously potentially control you know we've had call of duty modern warfare 2 um uh, i've come out of, of that type of thing but yeah so we've got final fantasy 7 uh remake i'll finish recording today the playthrough of that we've obviously got the inter uh integrate uh yuffie expansion coming out in june and the um playstation 5 updates which will incorporate the Hard mode, got some uh, Marvel Avengers coming uh, with the Hawkeye DLC, probably do a couple of videos on that. Uh, and then, yeah, upcoming games for me are Outriders, Mass Effect Trilogy, Returnal, Biomutant, and Keena Bridge of Spirits. Yeah, that's what If there's any games you think I'm you know, missing out on, please leave the comment down below, and I'm sure to, I'm sure I will pick a, uh, take a look at them uh, and uh, give you an update on if my plans change. But until then, I hope you all stay safe and you stay well. My name is Paul, aka Nick Get Good. This has been my first ever channel update. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.